Well, hey there team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to God's Will Fall. So this is the uh, current free game on Epic Store, so if you find this interesting, just tab out, go across to Epic, redeem it, you've got a week to do that, and then you've got it forever. Um, this game is, hmm, how do I put this? It's incredibly unique, and I think it gets full marks for what it's doing. Some really interesting gameplay. However, a lot of what uh, makes this game tick is hinging on a difficult combat system, like the core loop, it's sort of essential that the combat is difficult. But unfortunately, in my experience, we'll see how we go today, it's actually not that tight. Like, the combat's less uh, Dark Souls, like, considered, um, and tough in spite of that, like as part of the design, it's more kind of tough because it's kind of bad. Um, so we'll, we'll get into it. I'll just pull uh, the trigger on a new game. Essentially, it's sort of a boss rush sort of mode. You do these puzzle dungeons coming up against these bosses and you've got a set expedition of little Viking dudes. Um, and you've got to pick the right Viking to send into the cave. However, you don't really know until you send him in. And if the dude dies, he's captured, and you have to keep committing more dudes into the cave to, uh, to like, get him back, to free him back. So, yeah, it's a very tough boss fight game. It's got some sort of Shadow of Colossus kind of vibe going on, I suppose. You know, structurally, you could say. Um, and, yeah, the combat's just very punishing, very difficult, but... I don't know. Well, we'll see how we go, but that was the sort of... That was my take when I first looked at it when it came out back in the day. Worship your gods or pl pledge fealty. How cool is this, uh, this art? Oh, jeez. See you later, Sharon. Callous minds and the vile demands grew with each passing year. The first seeds of uprising grew from only a handful of clans. The world qu quickly took root. Nah, this is all pretty broad strokes world building, you know? From the moors, the glens, the lakes, and the forests, one message travelled, the winds unchanged. Okay. These are our gods no more. Right. Um, interestingly, like, certain characters will, they have different weapon sets, um, but that's a little bit more personal preference. Uh, they might even have different physical properties. I think you've got some big, bloody, strong man dudes and some skinny, smaller guys. But then you have ones that are, like, particularly scared of a certain god or they have a grudge against that god, and that will affect their statistics going in a run against them. The vassal revolts itself to the Forbidden Lands, Challenge of Gods. This art is pretty cool. If I recall correctly, it's going to be random which of the gods you have to fight. I don't think, like, I feel like there's a pool that they're drawn from. And their power levels will vary from run to run. So you might have an experience where one of them is actually quite weak. Um, but in the next run, that same dude will be jacked. Like, they'll turn his health bar up or whatever. So it creates a replayability to it. Wow, this is really good. I mean, it's awful, all these people dying and exploding and that, but... Hmm. Ah, well. So, yeah, like... Very quickly, you get what the game's going for. I just feel like maybe it missed the mark a little. But that's... Look, hey, it's a free game. And it's at least worth seeing something unusual. So I, I think that alone is reason enough to check it out. So you got your little crew of dudes and they roll around together. All right. Now, I don't know if they're fixed the same no matter what. View map. New winds, Chris. Yeah, yeah. A lifeline dead, blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm assuming that we're the little sword down there. Cave entrance. What is this cave? So they must be all the gods. However, it doesn't look like... Like, that one just is called cave entrance. Maybe this serves as a tutorial? I don't know. Let's have a look. So you pick your dude that's going to go in, right? Uh, look, oh, he's got two stars. What's that about? Evasive master. Hmm. 
Maybe we send the two. Let's send this dude. Warrior info. Stories, skills. Seems pretty bland. Bronze twin maces. Equip your challenger. Whatever. All right. He's like, yeah. I'm bloody going in and and the rest of the crew is pretty chuffed. I, I, I really dig that. That's cool. Heavy attack, uh, twin axes, twin maces. Heavy attacks, oh, excellent. I was reading that. Once a warrior enters domain, there's no turning back. They should fail. They'll be trapped within. To rescue the warriors, someone must make them successful. All right, so that's the heavy. All right. That's a normal. I've got a dodge. I've got a jump. I have no idea what that's doing. All right, so it's not complicated. Am I going in the water? Press to jump. Yeah, okay, so this is a tutorial cave. Cool, probably worth doing. Now, can I lock onto you? Okay. Cool. Press to perform heavy attack. Yeah, we figured that out. Go on then. Go on. Bugger. Really? I think that was a scripted oh. event. Now, I don't seem to be able to lock on, which is frustrating. Unleash battle roar to fill segments. Alright, so you can get your health back, but only by fighting. Very Viking. Very cool. Defensive dodge. Momentarily protects you. Oh, okay, I can sprint. Nice. Pick up a weapon. Yeah, so it's got a sort of soft lock to it. Could you fucking... Dodge directly towards enemy as they swing to parry their attack. Board enemy can be attacked by jumping and press... Right, I see. I see. Items can be found. Explosive urn. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Look at that. Healed me right up, baby. Jeez, watch out for those rocks. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, fuck. I thought I had that. Now, it, it all seems pretty easy right now, but you just bloody wait. This game gets very hard very quick. But it's probably worth doing the tutorial. Acquired wooden shield. Oh. Okay, well, the combat's working all right, actually. But like I said, mm, I'm happy to deadly attacks defeated by one of the attacks that will kill them outright. Really? Oh shit, watch out for that. Can I block that? Shit. I can! Okay, fuck yeah. Um... Oh, whoops, I've equipped my shield by accident. Oh, I can put it back away? Ah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to say my, my judgments from the past and maybe they've changed, you know? The combat feels okay here. 
I guess we'll just go pick a random random boss and we'll see how that plays. There's also sort of a puzzle for each boss level as well. Uh, I remember getting hung up on a couple, getting a little bit frustrated. All right, burial mound. Don't know what that's about. But uh, let's just hurry up and get to the meat of it. Os Osseus? Let's go Osseus. I think we're probably going to have to go... Out here. There's a lot to like about this game. Ghoul shudders as he drew closes. This door. Okay, so he's particularly not happy about going up against this god. However... There's something to be said about overcoming fears and that. Visions of death. This is what he saw in those nightmares, this door. Let's bloody send him in. Let's send him in. Come on, mate. Face your demons. Oh, did I have a, the cruel hands of fate were crawling in Gaul? Drag him towards his end. He would face his destiny. Well, there you go. He faced it head on. Do I get the shield from the last dungeon? Hmm. Jesus, look at that health bar. Well, fuck. Oh wait, that's the guy? Oh no, hang on, that was killing a dude did that. Well, fucking hell. Well, <laughs> see, all of a sudden I'm getting dumpstered on in the combat. So there's also the force perspective camera, which might force people, it might drive people insane. I don't have enough charge to heal. Slave vessels, foul creatures. Okay. Did I just lose health or something? Is that what's going on? Yes. All right. So it seems chipping away at these minions is chipping away at that health bar, I guess. Okay. Oh shit, look at that. That's cool. Read scroll. Heeds warrior's movement and dodge capabilities, so be careful waiting. Okay. What's going on with that dude hanging on up there? Wonder if I can, uh, Nah. Okay. That guy's got black bars. That worries me greatly. 
Ah, oh, well, fuck. Ah! Gaul's been taken by the realm of Ossius. Well, he was such a slow swinger, man, that killed me. <laughs> you might sin. The more bloodlust you already have, the more you will acquire in subsequent strikes. Oh. Okay. Well. Strength. And now they trapped within. The other big dude got a strength buff or something. Maybe because they're buddies? Eden cannot forget what happened to Gaul. Who pulled him ashore from the shipwreck? His duty compels him to attempt with rescue. So I like that. Well, let's let's take Eden then. Look at that, vigor plus three. Twin maces as well. Yeah. Oh, is this the dude from before? Ah, uh, blocks all attacks all the front. Nah, we'll we'll keep. We'll hold on to that. Get in there, buddy. So I kind of like that. The the inter interplay between the characters. And I'm pretty sure that's all randomly shuffled up per run. Alright, so it's all exactly the same, it's all reset. So the game is cruel. One more bloodlust. There we go, that worked out. Do you spell? Yeah, so it kind of plays like an eighty fighter from back in the day because yeah, you just cannot lock onto him, so you sort of have to. Hmm. It feels it feels desperately like it needs a lock on. That's what it feels like. It's down here. Doesn't look like anything. Let's go left this time. Fuck you, come down here and finish what you started, dickhead. Has this just got me to the exact same place anyway? Okay. Can I interact with this? No. Nah. Okay. Huh. Ah, okay. Let's go. See, I don't know if there's a puzzle to this. These wind chime things? I don't know. Hard to tell, hard to say. See, like this, coming down that camera, ah, oh, just don't want to get chumped by a baddie, you know? Dude, he just took so much damage. He didn't even have armor. Like, I knocked the armor off him and... Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, so... Oh, here we go. Maybe we go up here. Yeah, some of them have puzzles, which are a little bit tricky. Come down here.
Alright. Better not fall off this fucking thing, I'll tell you what. Look at this fucking thing. Look at this thing. Right, we got a ladder back there. We got a ladder up here. Okay. See you, mate. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to go around there. I don't know if I even can. Got ladders up there. Yeah. Can I climb up this? No. Nah. So I think what killing off these dudes is affecting the final health bar of the boss, but I'm not sure. Great Dolman Town. Uh, oh, I've read something by accident. <laughs> Oh, I get speared, son. Alright. Oops. Fuck you. I think I'm locked onto this. I don't really want to test fate here. That big spear is a monster. So throwing things at dudes seems to circumvent the combat loop, which makes you wonder if you're uh, if you're constantly taking throwing objects to avoid having to engage with the core loop. Mmm. Question marks. Oh. Oh, I guess. Okay, so no puzzle here. Straight up to the boss. Let's see what this bloke looks like. Oh, yeah, of course you're a bloody spider. Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck. Fuck you. What's going on here? What, what did you even hit me with? What? I had, like, full health. Oh. Anyway. Anyway, there you go. So, look, maybe you'll enjoy this game and the difficulty, and, and uh, there's probably a much bigger conversation to be had around, um, you know, why we play things that are difficult. Like, I don't want to be spoon-fed a walking sim or anything like that. I love a good challenge, but then I also see that there's a rise of games. I'm not saying this is one of those games, but you see these Twitch bait, these streamer bait games, you know, that are just made to be impossibly difficult going through an, an obstacle course. And they're made to watch your favorite streamer scream in frustration. And they're less about a good loop and more about just cruel difficulty, right? Because of this meta thing that's going on with this streamer relationship. And so I suppose if you put those things at either end of the scale, like no skill and then things that uh, are just so difficult it's beyond skill, um, where does this sit? Well, this is not nuanced with Dark Souls. Dark Souls is satisfying, overcoming it and all that. And just then I, that, that kind of felt cheap. What I, what I just experienced then and this game doesn't really have like 
Yeah, it only has one gear and it's go. Like, granted, you walk around, like, okay, we could go back in or we can go and try and look at another boss when our numbers are dwindling. But ostensibly, the core loop is just playing through this pretty basic brawler that's incredibly high damage dealing to the player and, and very cruel. Um, so, yeah, look, on one hand, I, this game's been out long enough that I know that the consensus kind of is that it's it, the balance is off, right? So, not that I'm trying to say whether I'd be on the right side or wrong side of this. If you enjoy this, that's fine. Fill your boots. But I'm critical of it because I, I do feel like the balance is off, right? I use Shadow Colossus as an example of sort of a framing device because it's very similar, the, the going around to all the bosses and all that, but it doesn't play out as hyper difficult. It plays as more of a puzzle, um, and I use that example because Shadow Colossus is one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely love it to death. And I really like Dark Souls games. So why do I not love this when it puts those things together? And I have to think it's more on the execution than, than me having issue with the genre being that I like w where it's coming from. Anyway, just some closing thoughts there. You might enjoy it and that's fine. No judgment. Check it out. It's at least original. It's an original mashup of some cool concepts, which I think is great. But I do feel that um, the loop is actually kind of thin. You know, it's uh, the, the world map is pretty basic stuff and the combat is pretty much two, two button with a parry. Um, I, I just feel like it doesn't really bring enough to the table. But that could just be me. Who knows? Anyway, check it out yourself. It's free. It's free on Epic. Check it out. At least put it in your library. You never know. You might go down the rabbit hole and have a really good evening. You know, play a couple of bosses of it, lose yourself in for a few hours. And at the end of the day, isn't that the whole point of games? You know, if you can find an evening's worth of fun with this, then I suppose mission accomplished. Anyway, team, I might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.